into the actual world map. We can't get into it yet, you see. You click that to go to world map. We can't actually get into it. Once we get into it, there's a certain route I like to take. That is, um, very, very good. Okay. So, let's go over here. It took me forever to find this, but you can see on your map up here. So let's wait for them to come to us. Jory, go up front. Send me. And we're gonna chill here and let stuff happen. Right. We're gonna have him do a pinning shot if you would like not run around like an idiot. He's pinning shot on that one. Okay, now I'll have them move. Jory can knock that one over. I can't get past them. They're too fat. Step, step. Do weapon speed. Bam. You're gonna die. Oh, good. See it? That's one good reason you want to. Kind of. This is kind of a cheap way to play this game. Not really cheap. But if you're finding trouble on Nightmare, this would be very good to do what I just did. Because you can see, there's another enemy up here. The actual, actually, the toughest enemy, the Alpha Wolf. And we only pulled the four tinier ones. If we pulled the big one, it would have been more challenging. But now we can pull this one at our leisure. So as you can, it's good to like hold back, because then you can only maybe pull one or two. So that's. So even though he's not really that close to me, I can still stun the shit on him. So he'll turn around. I figured. Yeah. He just backstab the crap out of him. Dead. There we go. And up here, there's an iron chest for us. Let us see what is inside. Chastened flat blade. A long thing and a letter. Farewell letter to Jogby. Looks like Rigby sent a letter to his son Jogby. But it looks like Jogby is also dead. Well, we don't know if Rigby's dead. At least I don't think we do. I might have missed something. But, you know. So we are nearing uh, probably one of the most annoying battles in the beginning of the game. I'll show you just what I like to do. You can see the developers probably realized this was a very tough fight too and they, en they enabled freaking whatever. Auto saving. Right here is a um, Darkspawn Emissary. What you're going to want to do is rush him, because he's a mage, and mages hurt oh so much. Just stun the shit out of him. Just keep stunning him. We'll let these two take care of him while Alistair and I fight this dude. Just keep stabbing him as much as you can. Alistair's kind of getting his face beaten, as you can see, and that's why you want to take care of mages first. There we go. And I leveled. Wonderful. So I'm going to try and keep Alistair to the back of the fight. Well, I'd actually fight. So we should have Jory be the one doing the tanking. Jory can fight this dude. Oh, what was that? Oh, shit. That guy's getting doppelganged here. Alistair can probably take this guy. We shall see. Actually, I'm going to have my guy go help Alistair. I don't know how hot Alistair's going to do. Yep, Alistair needs to not move. So I'm going to put everybody on hold position. Alistair Lee cannot afford any more damage. You need to get closer and actually attack. How is Alistair getting hurt? He likes slowly taking damage. What the heck? Look at him. Whatever, we stunned him. Okay, we need to like get you over here, Mr. Dude. 
Otherwise, my main guy's gonna die too. Okay, main guy. Okay, we're good. We're good. I like trying to do as much as I can without using health poultices. Especially in the beginning. If you want to conserve them in the beginning, because later on you'll be able to make them. In the beginning, you can't really. So we killed our first emissary. He drops a little staff. You can either sell it or wait till you can get a mage. Or use it if you're a mage. Shit. I forgot about those. Sometimes enemies lay traps, and it's a good thing I missed this. I actually knew this was here. Which is why I brought my guys like right around here. You know, right around the corner. Because I knew that was there. Punch of ath, ashes, yada yada yada. As you say. So with that, let's fill up my dude. Two strengths and I can use that awesome thing. Okay. Okay. Well, crap, we are... I want to get that up really fast, just because it's awesome. We're going to get improved tools so we can pick a locks better. We're going to equip this. Oh, so much better. I now have 16 armor. <laughs> Which is twice as much as Alistair. It's kind of cheap I did that. I know, I know it's kind of cheap. Yeah, but now my guy has improved stuff, so now we can see these traps that he couldn't before. I would suggest disarming traps, even if they're not a threat to you, because look, you get 20 experience for each flimsy one. Other traps will give you 40, even 60. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mis I misclicked. I didn't click the trap, I clicked next to it. Um, okay. Disarmed. So good experience. Um. Just watch out for traps when you can. Sometimes it's even beneficial. It's usually beneficial to have. Well, my rogue has more armor now, so I'll I'll let him go first. But I want to actually inspect that armor a little more. Plus four dexterity. Oh my god. Extra stamina regen. Fifty percent chance to dodge attacks. So my guy's probably a better tank than Alistair at this point. You can hear that growling again. That's what that means. Oh shit. I still had them on hold position. That's not good. Alistair can take this dude. Take that dude. Backstab some. Bam! As you can see, my guy took very little damage simply because his armor right now is way higher than it should be. So, if you buy the game and you do that, it's from Liliana's song. If you buy the game right away <clears throat> and you do Liliana's song, you can get that. Um, if you guys care, I could not equip it. If anybody cares, I just like to take it full advantage of everything because, not gonna lie. I really like when oh, my guys are awesome. Like, probably my best file is my warrior file. He's just an impossible beast. Nobody could even get come close to killing him. I could probably solo most of the game with him on Nightmare. He, he has uh, almost as much armor, armor as my tank character. And yada yada yada. Okay, right here, you remember that pouch of ashes we got? We can sprinkle more ash in the pile of stones. And that is this stuff. So we have Alistair going right away. Let's see if he can't do anything important. He probably can't. <laughs> he really has nothing right now. Okay. So we can stun him, I think. We can't. I just need to use everything at your disposal, trying to do everything. Please stop attacking my main guy. Good. Now I can start backstabbing again. So he used Flame Blast, which is bad, because I really have no resistance to any magic right now. Okay, Jory is kind of getting rocked. Good, he switched to Alistair. It's perfect. You're in prime shape right now. 
awesome. My guy's doing the most damage right now. I think the backstabs are awesome. He's vanquished. Alistair might die. Oh, no, nope, fire just ran out. That's good. Very well. Um, so he dropped chainmail. He's supposed to drop something else. There we go. Enchanter's footing. One of the first items you get that actually has, like, not an enchantment, but they are good enough that they add a special bonus. So over here is where we're supposed to go. Um, I'm not going to go there yet. So we have several quests still. Painted Blood, done that, done the Mambari Hound. Okay, because there's a couple unmarked quests that we have to do. So, um, we're about out of time, actually, which is unfortunate. But, um, hold on, let me look at that letter to Jog be quick. Quest related. That's the, um, that's the sword I found. Look for a tree leaning on a ruined building, pass under a fallen tree bridge. So we have to go back to the beginning of Os the You said go back to the beginning from the Oscar Gate. So I'll head back over there. Then I'll end it for now. And then we'll look for Jogby's little treasure hunt doohickey. That was, that's what we'll do next time. See, so yeah, if you don't want me to use the battle just of the, of the provocateur, that's perfectly fine with me. I This is the first time I've actually used it ever. Because I just got the song of Liliana like a week, two weeks ago. Um, where am I going? Over here looks better. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. I'm just an idiot. Chest and trail sign. Okay, you see it marked on my map. So I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go to that trail sign, and then yeah. We'll find the first one, and then we'll be done with that. Right up here. Let's go check that out. So a log leaning on a ruined building. It says it's up here. I don't know. Oh! Look for two large statues with a chest between them. We already found that. Oh, that was the chest and thing we found. But, um... We're gonna explore over here next. When we come back, so... Until next time, see you guys.